to my channel my name is reborn and today video is going to be about my testimony on lust now lust is something that we as followers of christ or just human beings in general struggle with every single day or go in and struggle with it and i'll just feel we accept it and my testimony on it is 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 the fact that i have been struggling with it since since i was like i'm gonna say probably 10 years old 10 because 10 that's when i actually started to watch pornography and 10 is just when i started to to actually start to like actually watch it from time to time but even in myself i always felt in myself that it wasn't right but it was a fact that when time i get like a get like a, a feeling in my in my heart or like something it was just telling me just to do it that it was just one time or every times throughout my day throughout that single day that i'll do it five times in a row watch it do the thing i don't want to say the word because it's youtube and stuff but y'all know what i'm saying and stuff though but for this video i hope i hope this video can help you on your journey though so i started watching pornography on when i was actually nine i started actually doing doing it when i was 10 and so on and forth but after and then it just it, it just the after effects just just made me feel terrible and made me feel weak nimble if made me feel tired even made my head hurt and stuff but i just uh, it, it was just like them days where where i just kept on doing it back to back and then one day during covid which is covid is when i was doing it probably the most in my life probably i might even finna lie the most but um yeah and covid and stuff that's when i really really started trying to be more better and self improve and stuff because when i was 10 i tried to be better at my anger management and trying to be a better person overall but once 2019 2020 hit and covid hit that's when my self that's when i tried to has self-development for myself physically matching and spiritually because i always told myself i'll be strong in all areas, all areas of life no matter what and i refuse to lack in any area or to be weak basically so i gained physically my spiritually i started reading the bible more often so i get closer but i still have some problems in, in certain areas need to fix like with lust with frustration and anger issues and stuff so after they have self-control so for my lust i just distracted myself with something else but that didn't really work for me i might, I might, I might be honest because what i'm doing right now right right as of right now to at any time i have a lustful thought or i have a a very intrusive thought or just doing anything this this may be intrusive i recite verses like Philippians, Psalms, or like the verse "Free from these with lust." I always tell myself that. Or if I am having a night where I'm very tempted, the most I'll put my phone or any device that I have near me in another room, or I'll just simply just put it somewhere else. I would most definitely not go go because when I'm tired and I don't really want to get up. So I'm gonna put it somewhere. I'm not for fat. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna move at all. But um, my tip for defending against um lust is this, and my bad if I'm doing the slabs, but I'm making a point here is we cite scripture, study scripture, and you could use the soap method or write it down on a piece of paper. And just recite it every single day. If you're struggling with lust, like like you battling lust back to back every single day, you're not trying to to commit that sin. Now, when you do commit that sin, just ask for repentance. 
ask for forgiveness from God. And also just pray that to renew your, your, your mind and spirit and to give you the strength. And don't fight lust because you will lose. I try that on my own. You will lose. I'm telling you, I tried it. You, you will completely just lose if you try to fight lust on your own. With the word God, with this, you're going to win 10,000 times over every single time. Every time. And I cannot say, have I beaten lust? I had lost some stories on this, so my bad for the cutout. But yes, I do believe so. I have never not. How about this? I'm still kind of struggling with it a little bit, not a lot. But there are some days where I be asleep and I have an image in my head of something very intrusive about a female that I might see in school, outside at work, or just or just in a random place. Or it just be I me mean, having a dream. And every time I'm in a dream, or just having an image in my head, I use I recite like scripture every single time. And it works every single time. Or I call I call upon the name of the Lord. And it works every single time. There's no lie. I'm not lying at all. No bat. So my thing is for you is to suggest is that if you're struggling with lust, call on the name of the Lord, pray and fast. Most importantly, fast. If you fast, you're gonna get a great awakening. I fast for three days. And when you fast, don't tell nobody you're fasting. Don't don't try to look like you're fasting. Make sure you wash your face as you as you're fasting. That's a tip. Even if it's not about lust. But this is what this will help you on lust. This will help you on how to control it, or not even how to control it, how to defeat it multiple amount of times. Because it is sin. We as human beings will sin continually. Not willingly, but subconsciously, sometimes we do it. But that's all I have for you all today. I pray you all to be safe and that you all can be successful in your lives. And make sure to like and comment and subscribe to this video if you get any information about it. And I have a Telegram link down in the description. And I might put it in the comments too. I just might do that. But y'all stay safe and stay blessed. Peace.